Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We've got a Line Blade Optic 92 for you today. And other than a graphic update, this ski returns the same structurally. Uh, since it was new last year, that makes a lot of sense. You know, just kind of repaint it and send it off on its way to another group of happy skiers. And we've really kind of come to enjoy these Blade Optic series of skis. Uh, there's a lot of decent comparisons between other models, uh, existing models in this kind of early to mid 90s realm. Uh, the 92 is the only one that doesn't have metal. 96, 104, 114 all have the gas pedal metal overdrive laminate. Uh, this one does not, keeps it more on the light side while keeping the energy and performance uh, pretty darn high. Um, we have seen and done some pretty high level skiing on this thing and there's really no love lost for the performance on this. It is a very energetic, super poppy, very playful ski uh, that mixes kind of all mountain and free ride, even bringing some twin tip stuff into the fold. Uh, Line does a phenomenal job of creating unique and different skis, and a lot of them are able to kind of function on uh, different levels of performance as well as uh, versatility. And I think that this Blade Optic 92 is a great example of kind of that general philosophy from Line in terms of ski construction. Uh, we are built with an Aspen veneer wood core, so light, poppy, energetic, uh, has a lot of kind of bounce built into it. Um, a lot of that has to do with the varying degrees of thickness and thinness in the build. So underfoot, we're getting a thicker polyethylene sidewall uh, which is a little bit stiffer, and that's giving the ski quite a bit of stability and energy. If you think about a sidewall almost as a vertical laminate, uh, it kind of makes sense as to why uh, this makes a lot of sense for the middle of this ski. It does taper uh, to full cap um, in the tips and tails, and when we look at rocker profile, it kind of lines up with where that bend in the ski starts. So it's a, a smart way of mixing the underfoot stability with the lighter swing weight and more flexible nature of the tips and tails. You know, really, really cool stuff going on there. We do get the thicker edges. Uh, not only does that contribute to edge grip, but also adds uh, durability to the mix. So pretty good stuff there from uh, Line. And then this is the 175 on the scale here at 1,730 grams. So pretty light, you know, this thing is really maneuverable, super quick, both edge to edge and just kind of in a more drifty format as well. So really good mix of attributes in this ski. And this is kind of where we see the playfulness aspect come in. Um, twin tip-ish, you know, certainly doesn't fall into their freestyle ski category, but anytime you're putting a twin tip on a ski, you're adding that dimension of freestyle or creativity to the mix, and we're all about it here. Uh, there is some nice positive camber underfoot, not a ton. Um, and then we do get to see how that rocker lines up with where the cap begins. So a really interesting way of building that ski, kind of making the business aspect of this blade optic be mainly found underfoot. Uh, and then in the ends and the tips and tails, it becomes basically a different ski. So they're really melding a couple of different uh, characteristics here. Then we get a nice early taper shape here, makes it nice and smooth. You know, it's not terribly dramatic in terms of taper, uh, and nor is it in terms of splay. You know, pretty moderate for a mid-90s ski. Really kind of lends to that versatile nature for sure. And then similar theory in the tail here where the rocker starts where the sidewall ends. Uh, kind of that sharper taper shape in the tail uh, acts kind of like a rudder in deeper snow. You know, you're able to access the playfulness of the tail easier as opposed to if it was more squared off that you really have to push to get, uh, to get that type of performance. But in this Blade Optic 92, it's certainly more on that playful side um, of the spectrum, which I think makes a lot of sense for what they're going for here. Um, but pretty good flex, you know, not too stiff, not too soft. Great energy coming out of the ski and just a wonderful mix of a lot of different attributes. So if you stand in the middle of the ski, you're getting one type of turn. If you pressure the tip and the tail, you're really getting another type. So it mixes those qualities together very efficiently, uh, making this thing just a ton of fun for a variety of conditions and terrain. 
Uh, also skier type, you know, this is the weight and the flex and the tips and tails make it more accessible to an intermediate who's looking for something that's slightly wider uh, to progress in. Um, you know, we had some pretty advanced and expert skiers on this thing in our ski test and they skied it very cleanly, very well. I don't see like the top end of the performance ceiling on this. Certainly adding metal would take it to the next level in terms of dampness and stability, but not necessarily performance. I think the, the intention here is to get that quicker, more energetic, more playful uh, type of skiing done out of this. So make sure you check out the Line Blade Optic 92 here at SkiEssentials.com and we will see you out there on the hill. Bye.